One really cool thing about Keystone products going into 2022 is that they all come standard now with a new Solar Flex 200, potentially allowing you to upgrade the system, adding an inverter, sending over power to possibly five or even seven different outlets, depending on which Keystone product you decide to go with. And this new 2022 Keystone Cougar Model 364BHL, two bedroom bath and a half floor plan, is already gonna come with a built-in 2000 watt inverter, sending over power to five different outlets, including the television. Coming in a tad over 39 feet in length is this 2022 Keystone Cougar model number 364 BHL. Two bedroom, one and a half bath with a loft. Sleeping room possibly for 10 individuals. This coach is gonna have three total slide outs with a dry weight of 11,260 pounds. And we are gonna start on the inside of the coach first, going over its different features before we hit outside. And after doing about 100 of these videos, I've just about determined the best way to show you is really just to come in and take a seat. It's really difficult at times to move around and show every single angle of the camper without stumbling or banging over something. So just come in and take a seat and show you. Three total slides, two found here in your kitchen slash living room area, giving you right at 15 feet of walking space. Two theater seats staring directly in front of this Summit 50 inch screen TV. Electric fireplace on the bottom, producing right at 5,000 BTUs of heat. But if you don't camp in the winter, you can definitely turn the heat off and just use the cool lights to assist your guests with moving around. All electric 16 cubic foot refrigerator, and that does work off that built-in 2,000 watt inverter while you're going up and down the road. And take a look at this absolutely enormous pantry. Kind of a glass accent on it as well almost floor to ceiling but you're right at seven feet tall really really cool really nice kitchen island in the middle and you do have some accent lights found underneath the island notice the 110 outlet as well your countertops inside the coach are going to be a solid surface countertop and here in your kitchen you got the double basin sink for a change normally you're only going to find a single basin so that's really nice how they've done the double basin with this one Residential high-rise faucet coming around. I'm going to show you some of the storage built into the island. That's really cool how they do the, do the cutouts there. Your cabinet doors, as well as the pull-out drawers right over there, your facings will be solid wood on the Keystone Cougar here we're looking at today. Coming around, I'm going to take a look at the oven. Not enough room to do a Christmas feast but definitely room for a couple pans of biscuits. I'm gonna open that up first, but we're gonna take a look at the high point microwave. I said we're gonna open that first and then I'll open the microwave, meaning I'm gonna open the microwave and then show you the oven. My apologies there. Larger one piece grate on the top with three different burners. And just pretty much your standard RV type oven here. But really deep cabinetry found on this Cougar. You're looking at about 24 inches deep. See if I can't back up and see, that's what I'm talking about. It's really hard to get up close and in person with some of these different cabinetry like this. Just kind of like, it's, it's better just to sit back and take it all in and check out the roof. Coach is gonna come standard with two air conditioning units and check out the crown molding as well. I like how they accent the different colors going from the wall to the roof panels. That's really, really nice. No carpet found anywhere in the Cougar model. Your kitchen slide out here is a flush mounted slide, but you got more of a marine gray type flooring found in the slide box here. Slide box height on this dinette slide slash entertainment seating area, you're at six foot one. This model does have the booth with some additional storage found underneath both of these. And I will lay this flat as we go through the coach and close all these blackout shades as well. So all your windows are gonna be trimmed out with a balance on both sides. And there are some tint, 80% tint found on the kitchen windows here. So I decided to go ahead and show you what your dining room would look like if you decided to set it up in its full sleeping arrangement. You can also order this coach with a sleeper sofa in replace of the two dining room theater seats. However, we felt as though there's plenty of sleeping room and we wanted to make things a little bit more comfortable in your dining room. 
Coming all the way to the back, we're gonna have two full-size beds with the dimensions of 72 by 55 and get a good look at all the storage space for your guest. Tons of closet space, and each one of these will have a pull-out drawer. I'll open it up for you as well. Up in the loft bed area, dimensions again of 72 by 55, and you're gonna have a ceiling height from here to your ceiling right at 27 inches high. Black roller shade, and that is an emergency exit window which will open for additional breeze. And talk about cool, you've got TV connections there as well as over here, so you could possibly have two televisions going at once. Additional storage also found underneath this full-size bed with access from the outside, which is great that way you can cross-load all of your stuff. These windows are also breeze windows and they will have a black roller shade. You're not going to have the valance on both sides, but it still does a really great job. And here is your closet space with that pull-out drawer. And one really cool thing to point out besides the sleeping room for eight, nine, or even ten people is the added half bath, but then steps away from your guest bedroom, which really eliminates any headaches that could possibly arise. You know, when you have sleeping room for that many people, sometimes changing room really isn't thought through. Plus, having this added door right off the outdoor kitchen is definitely a plus, which eliminates all the heavy foot traffic from going in and out just to gain access to the bathroom. I know GoPro does not provide you with the best of sound quality, but listen to this. Two Coleman Mach Whisper Quiet air conditioning units found on board this new 22 Cougar. But heading upstairs, I feel like you'll get a better idea on that sound just as we get closer to that main unit upstairs. All the controls to operate your slot operations, even your awning operations, are going to be found from this new in-command touchscreen system. Unlike last year's model where you found your main controls, there was a lot of rocker switches like such. So everything's easily controlled from the touchscreen here on board, simple zeros for your passcode, water heater, water pump, your light switches and so forth, everything's easy. Easy to read, easy to understand, and you can also link it with your phone and do some of the controls from your phone without having to maybe get up, stepping away from your sofa, maybe turn off a light switch or so forth. Ceiling height is six foot four, and you do have a closet slide that extends its way into the bathroom on this coach. And I feel like I just need to point this out because this has happened with previous customers. Be really mindful of the door. When you're getting ready to leave, or even to open your slide, step in your bathroom, checking your door, making sure it's in the back position, because if it's not, you're definitely going to hear some cracking going on that's not going to be very cheap. Coming around to what I call a north to south queen size bed with dimensions of a 60 by 80, you do have some additional cabinets you found up above. 110 outlets located on both sides and that yellow sticker is going to identify that Solar Flex 200 letting you know that they are already pre-wired from the factory and this coach that you're viewing does have that built-in 2000 watt inverter from the factory so those outlets will work maybe room to mount about a 28 inch television here don't want to go too big you don't want to extend past the range of the door because that slide will be coming in and again make sure these closet doors are closed because if that was to come in cause interference with your tv that could be more damage. So just be really careful with those closet slides. Ceiling height in the bathroom again is six foot four, and you have about a five inch step up to get in. But that is a flush mounted shower pan. 32 by 32 are the dimensions. Full radius shower with an additional skylight provided. So you certainly have plenty of headroom up in this smaller mid-size, maybe a mid-profile fifth wheel. Coming around to your bathroom sink. Your countertops are going to be what I call a pressed membrane countertop. It's a hard heated plastic wrapped over a Flamica material, prevents it from swelling in the event if it makes contact with water. Well, I greatly do appreciate some of you guys sticking around this long. Leave me some thumbs up if you like what you see. Subscribe if you want to see more of it. But a date and time of making this video, MSRP on this coach of $88,000. $819 for pricing and availability. I always leave a link in my description found below, taking you back to my website to view more additional photos. But leave me some thumbs up, leave me some comments. 
We're gonna head outside. Coming at you 39 feet, two inches of total length with three total slide outs. This is 2022 Keystone Cougar model 364 BHL. Acronym BH standing for bunkhouse, L standing for loft. Dry wheel on this current model of 11,260 pounds. Gross vehicle weight rating, 14,000 pounds. Speaking of weight, get up here to the Kingpin where you've got a hitch weight of 2,200 pounds. The brand's gonna be Road Armor Trail Air and this one's gonna have the bigger bushing in the front, allowing for a little bit more flex, prevented from chucking. Speaking of the Kingpin area, check out the reflective surface, plus the docking light to assist with hooking up this 96 inch wide absolutely awesome camper i've become to like this one something about the cougar model i feel the quality it feels really good coming around to the main side of the coach two 12 foot awnings both of these are black in color there is led lights found underneath both of them, them as well Let's see if i can't come around and show you up underneath the awning i was going to let them out but the winds are kind of high here today there's also a shot of your outdoor speakers your baggage doors are gonna be about an inch and a half thick, held up with a magnet. I like when they utilize the magnets compared to some of its, the other models in the market that use plastic clips. Shot of your pass-through storage, trimmed out nicely with a carpet. Shot of some of the under beams from the main floor. Solar Flex 200 sticker as well. The steps are gonna be a Lippert component. Four steps, these flip up and inside the door when you're in transit. Coming around to the back. E-rated tires. And this coach does have the upgraded Road Armor Trailer suspension. Suspension. That plus the additional Road Armor Trailer Kingpin in the front. It's gonna give this coach a pretty nice smooth ride. Coming around to the back, you know, once I showed you, coming out the back door, outdoor kitchen, everything's located back here on the back patio. Now there is some pros and cons. It's not really a full outdoor kitchen, but located over here, there are, there's like an outdoor shower connection. I'll show you that shortly. Stainless steel drill, some additional storage, hot point. Your LP disconnect for your grill. There's gonna be that yellow sticker here. And check that out. You see the round tubular circle, circle here? That's for all of your sewer lines once you're finished camping. So you can access it from both sides. Your normal traditional aluminum steps, these flip underneath the main entry door. But this is that outdoor shower connection I'm talking about. So you still have some water located next to the outdoor shower. So that way you can wash your hands before going in the coach. Friction hinge on both of those entry doors also. Coming around to the back, you're going to have a fully walkable roof. You do have the rear mounted ladder on this coach. Let's see if I can't get you out of the sun. There we go. Blindside camera prep. And so what they've done is they moved it down. Last year's model, they were way up higher. So they moved it down a lot more. 13 feet, five inches tall. You do have a two inch receiver on the back. This is not for pulling an additional vehicle, only for a luggage rack or bike rack. Low capacity of only 300 pounds found on the tongue. Check out your baggage door latches. Those are different from last year. This is gonna be that storage found underneath that full size bed in the back for your guests. So that's pretty cool though. Your guests can just toss all their stuff from the outside underneath the bed. Makes the load up that much quicker. E-rated tires, sewer connections on this coach. You're gonna have two different ones. And back there, that's gonna be the low point drain. So if you had fresh water on board, that's how you're gonna dump it there. Black tank flush, you know, not black, black tank flush, but black tank pull handle located there. Your other sewer connections are gonna be found up here in the front. Underneath this rack and pinion slide. So that's your other sewer connection there. Fully enclosed underbelly, by the way. And the pull handles to operate the front sewer connections are found in this water management area there. Like, subscribe, leave me some thumbs up. They definitely do help. Come see us.